Let's start with super strong acids and work our way up to the ultra heavy hitters. Nitric acid. This highly corrosive mineral acid is one of the weaker ones on our list, but still, it's around 31,000 times stronger than citric acid found in lemons in terms of acidity. For reference, citric acid is around 45 times stronger than acetic acid found in vinegar. Historical records suggest nitric acid's discovery traces back to the 13th or 10th century alchemy. It reacts vigorously with metals and non-metals, often explosively. It also has a direct role in production of explosives, particularly gunpowder and TNT. Industrially, it's vital for fertilizer production, rocket propellant, metal processing, woodworking and as an etchant. Its corrosive nature poses significant hazards causing chemical burns on contact with your skin and leaving yellow stains upon exposure. Immediate first aid involves washing affected areas with water for at least 10 minutes to prevent decomposition of skin and flesh. Sulfuric acid. This mineral acid is considered to be the strongest normal acid. Everything after this is called a super acid. It is approximately 40 times stronger than nitric acid in terms of acidity, but less harmful if diluted with water. Its aggressive nature is remarkable, corroding everything from rocks to metals such as iron, aluminium, zinc, manganese, magnesium and nickel, but not glass. Pure sulfuric acid is not naturally present, whereas diluted sulfuric acid is found as a component of acid rain. Historically, chemists experimented with its distillation in the 9th and 10th centuries unaware of creating it. Today it's a vital commodity chemical used in fertilizer production, mineral processing, oil refining, wastewater processing, chemical synthesis and more. But it's very dangerous for humans. Contact can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and even secondary thermal burns due to dehydration. Splashed onto the eyes, it rapidly causes blindness. If ingested, it leads to fatal organ damage. Chlorosulfuric acid. This potent and reactive liquid comes with a pungent odor, typically clear to pale yellow in appearance. Chlorosulfuric acid is approximately 8 times stronger than sulfuric acid. Its properties include high solubility in water and a strong tendency to react violently with it, generating sulfuric and hydrochloric acid fumes. First synthesized in 1857, today it finds wide application in industry, primarily in the synthesis of dyes, detergents, pesticides, pharmaceuticals and agrochemicals. It also serves as a synthetic rubber base employed in all automotive and construction materials. Its handling demands utmost caution given its extreme corrosiveness. The most dangerous part? Chlorosulfonic acid emits highly corrosive fumes in open air and when mixed with water it even produces a deadly acidic gas. Gas masks and full body covering is therefore necessary. Contact with skin, eyes or mucous membranes can lead to severe burns while inhalation of its vapors may lead to buildup of fluid in the lungs and liver or kidney damage. Perchloric acid. Even though this stuff is only 1.6 times stronger than chlorosulfuric acid, it is vastly different. This is a very unstable oily liquid at room temperature and therefore are commonly found as a watery solution. Solution. If it becomes too hot or allowed to dehydrate, this acid quickly catches fire or causes explosions, releasing poisonous chloride fumes. Initially synthesized by an Austrian chemist in the mid-1800s, it has become a vital component in producing a precursor for rocket fuel. Its application extends to etching liquid crystal displays, electropolishing and ore extraction. Safety precautions are paramount due to its violent reactions with metals and flammable substances, as evidenced by a disaster in 1947 in a factory where 17 fatalities and 150 injuries occurred due to an explosion involving perchloric acid. This stuff is also dangerously corrosive and work must be carried out within fume hoods equipped with washdown capabilities. Inhalation can lead to serious lung 
more brain damage and even death. Triflake Acid. This stuff is approximately 80 times stronger in acidity than perchloric acid but with different properties. Triflake Acid is a fuming super acid that is known for its stability and resistance to oxidation, making it more useful than typical strong acids. But it is still highly corrosive to metals. Widely used in pharmaceutical, agricultural and polymer manufacturing, its anhydrous form, which means completely free from water, is prominent in fine chemical synthesis, particularly in the production of antibiotics. However, triflic acid poses significant hazards. It causes severe burns upon skin contact, delayed tissue destruction and fatal spasms upon inhalation. Triflic acid is also highly toxic, causing skin damage, inflammation and lung issues if inhaled. Fluorosulfuric acid is one of the strongest acids commercially available and about twice as potent as triflic acid and a thousand times stronger than pure sulfuric acid. This transparent liquid fumes vigorously when in contact with water. It is highly reactive. Dating back to 1892, its discovery birthed a substance with unparalleled acidity capable of dissolving nearly all organic compounds. In industry, the acid is used to speed up chemical reactions, coat metal objects and produce a wide range of substances for various industries. But this acid is extremely dangerous. Its toxicity and corrosiveness causes intense burns, eye damage and pain with even brief contact or exposure to its fumes. Fluorosulfuric acid can also release the highly toxic and corrosive hydrofluoric acid when it comes into contact with water. Exposure to hydrofluoric acid can lead to severe burns, tissue and nerve damage, heart attacks and systemic toxicity if not treated promptly. Therefore, the presence of antidotes such as calcium gluconate is required while handling it. Bistriflimidic acid is a another commercially available super acid and approximately five times stronger than fluorosulfuric acid. Initially crystalline, it readily absorbs water and moisture from its surroundings. With its remarkably high acidity and compatibility with organic solvents, it serves as a catalyst, promoter or additive in diverse organic reactions. Additionally, it plays a significant role in lithium ion and lithium metal batteries due to its high dissociation and conductivity. Needless to say that this acid is highly corrosive, toxic and very dangerous for humans. Fluoroboric acid. This inorganic compound is approximately six times stronger than bistriflimidic acid. While lacking a poor solvent-free form, it is commercially available as a solution in water and other solvents. It shares similarities with perchloric acid but without triggering oxidation reactions when it interacts with other substances. Its stable nature makes it valuable for various applications including the production of flame retardant materials, the chemical element boron and dental implants. Fluoboric acid is also used in processes to remove surface impurities from aluminium and acting as a catalyst in chemical reactions. But this stuff is highly toxic and corrosive, attacking and burning skin and eyes as well as glass. It also reacts strongly with water, releasing corrosive, volatile hydrogen fluoride. Adequate ventilation and cautious addition to water is crucial to prevent accidents and respiratory irritation. Carborane acids. This is a class of super acids discovered in 2004, roughly two to four times stronger than fluoboric acid and at least one million times stronger than pure sulfuric acid. Or more than 100 trillion times as acidic as the water found in your local swimming pool. Unlike traditional super acids, these are distinct as they exist as single component substances, often in solid form. Remarkably, these acids lack oxidizing properties and are very stable. They are still significantly more acidic than common strong acids, but gentle. Gentle because they offer clean acidity without the usual corrosiveness, making them storable in standard containers or glass. Carborane acids are used to break down bigger compounds in fine chemical synthesis for isolating specific compounds and even the production of certain vitamins. Confusingly, despite their strength, carborane acids are not corrosive. They also don't burn your skin and aren't connected to any side reactions. Triflitic acid, approximately two to six times stronger than carborane super acids and 10,000 times stronger than 
triflic acid. This stuff is terrifying. Triflitic acid is a colorless solid and was initially synthesized in 1987 by the Germans in Berlin. There isn't a lot of information available about this super acid, but in comparison to the carborane acids, it is highly dangerous for humans because of its strong corrosiveness. Magic acid, now it's getting serious guys. This stuff is approximately 25,000 times stronger than triflitic acid. Magic acid is a mixture of fluorosulfuric acid and antimony pentafluoride. It was developed in the 1960s by the Hungarian-American George Ola in Ohio. This potent substance dissolves almost everything within seconds, even glass and paraffin. Magic acid is primarily used to stabilize or change certain molecules. This is useful for industries like specialty chemicals, pharmaceuticals or the production of fuels. It's highly flammable, toxic and corrosive, posing health and environmental risks. Ingestion or inhalation leads to severe burns to the skin and eyes and it's also harmful to aquatic life because it doesn't dissolve in water. Fluoroantimonic acid, the world's strongest acid, is 100,000 times stronger than magic acid and trillions of times stronger than pure sulfuric acid. This stuff is a blend of hydrogen fluoride and antimony pentafluoride. It's a colorless liquid notorious for its toxic fumes. It's so reactive that finding materials it won't attack is a challenge. This potent acid dissolves glass, plastics and nearly all organic substances and even reacts explosively with water. It can only be kept in a Teflon or PFA container. It's mainly used for chemical reactions, glass etching and gasoline refining. For humans, this stuff is super dangerous, it's highly corrosive and reacts violently with water. Even regular lab gloves won't suffice as it can penetrate them causing severe burns upon contact with skin. Swallowing or inhaling this acid is of course lethal. However, it's not as corrosive as magic acid. This teaches us something. Measured acidity does not equal the strength of corrosiveness. Subscribe for more videos and click the like button down there to support us.